Hello everyone, my name is The Panther Photographer, you always know me as KK Alexander, I'm from 646studios.com and today I want to show you a more better efficient way how to protect your photos from online thefts or if someone is actually looking up your photos or looking at images online and they really want to purchase that image that you have taken and that metadata, that copyright metadata is going to help protect your images from online thieves. So with that said, please like, sub, and subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this. So the first thing I'm gonna do in Lightroom is I'm gonna actually right click on the image that I was working on. And the next step that I am going to do is go to add preset. Now, I already made a preset for this already, but I'm going to show you what I added so you can have a good idea how to do it yourself. In the first tab, it says basic information. The one thing I did in the caption was put my website in the captions because I want my photos to be subject to my website. So when people are looking at the image and it comes up, up in the metadata, they have a place where they can absolutely go uh, search to my go to search and go to my website to look up my photos and make sure that it is my photo. And the second uh, thing I did was with the IPTS uh, T IPTC copyright information. The first thing I also did was on your keyboard if you're using the PC press Control G gives you that copyright symbol put my name and all rights reserved the next step I did was also select copyright and the copyright status you do not want to pick a public domain because once you pick a public domain I don't know why would you want to pick that but it would be all lost so you really want to emphasize to select copyright the next step is to copyright usage terms you really want to write all rights reserved and you're gonna make sure that it says no uses without permission that is so important and then copyright information URL is your website and then in the IPTC creators tab I also put my name I put a city my favorite city is Madison of course state zip code for that country for that phone number where people can contact you if they are looking at images while doing google search and they see that information they can contact you that way but it also is going to protect the photo so they can no one cannot delete this metadata from the photo it's permanently there for life and i put my email and my website once again and at the very bottom of that the keywords so you can add as much keywords you want but make sure they are specific to your website and what you're doing night time night exposures long exposures portraits tutorials videography tech reviews lens reviews so forth and that's what i did and once you're done you're going to have the option to to save it as you save it as and each time you do a photograph and every time you add a photograph in Lightroom you want to make sure that you always do right click once again and you want to select the 646 or your well in my case 646 copyright information and simple then you can export out and that is simple as done with that said, if you like this tutorial and you like this information and if this information is very handy, please do subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification button, like button, but also don't forget to follow me on the social media links down below and support the links down below. It's Christmas time. Help a homeless photographer out. With that said, eat, sleep, photography, and repeat, and I will see you guys in the next video.